G'day, Dylan from the Byron Bay Observatory here. This is just a quick video because I woke up this morning, I'm quite disheveled, and there's just so much news going on. It's kind of insane. Look, the first thing is obviously the fires are burning in LA. This is massive global news and it feels like a kind of world-changing event. Um, Celestron posted uh, a view from the factory because Celestron is in Torrance in LA and they uh, assure us that everything's fine. They're in an industrial area near that uh, other side of really quite far away from where the fires are so that's okay but when you look at these satellite maps uh, this is not a forest fire this is a city fire that's just ripping through buildings so it's hard to see how this is happening and what's going on obviously huge natural causes with the wind and the heat and the dry conditions and a lot of political infighting that i won't go into now but as I record this, there is fire heading towards Mount Wilson Observatory, obviously a very important and historical site and actually an active observatory that's still doing science to this day. But this is the observatory where Edwin Hubble discovered that Andromeda was not a nebula but actually a galaxy and furthered our understanding of the universe. A number of other notable discoveries have happened here as well. For a while they had the largest telescope in the world uh, so this is um, significant for the astronomy community and it's sad to watch the fires creep towards it. Apparently there were staff there this morning, uh, four people, but uh, hopefully they're okay and hopefully they evacuate all right as well. And obviously my heart goes out to everyone affected by the fires too. The other thing I wanted to talk about is this mead auction uh, because we got this sudden news that the auction which I was sharing on this channel and a lot of you were interested. The auction went live a couple of days late and then the bids started rolling in and there was obviously more interest than even I anticipated for equipment that may be um, not even functioning, just equipment in boxes. And there were thousands of products. It looks like that there was a negotiation happening behind the scenes for a company to buy the stuff and the intellectual property, which is the Mead brand, the Orion brand, the blueprints, all that sort of thing. I got a message this morning from a subscriber saying that uh, the auction had finished and had been canceled early. Uh, let me just pull up this message. Apparently an email went out to uh, everyone who was registered to bid saying that thanks for your interest in this auction under its authority and discretion, the assignee has accepted and closed a funded offer for the bulk purchase of inventory lots excuse me, like I say, I've just woken up, and certain intellectual property from a bidder whom the assignee has been negotiating since prior to the pre-bid deadline. As a result, we're closing this auction. The assignee may, at its election, conduct another auction for the remaining assets of the ABC at a future point in time. We appreciate your interest. Look forward to working with you again. So it looks like someone has stepped in to buy Mead and Orion and all the stuff as well. Really interesting development. So I'm sorry for um, publicizing the auction and then everyone got interested. I feel bad, like everyone must have organized themselves and gathered funds and got ready to get a cheap telescope. And in the end, it didn't look like they were gonna go cheap because there was so much competition. And now a uh, mysterious company who we will find out who it is in the fullness of time has come in and bought everything. Really interesting developments about it. I didn't really have anything much to say. I just hope everyone in LA is okay. And uh, yeah, a bit of drama in the astro community this morning and in the world stage in general. Uh, thanks for watching the Minicam 8 video. That's going really well and uh, really well received and I'm really excited about that camera. Mars is in opposition this weekend, so that's gonna be a bit of fun for us uh, planetary images with big telescopes. Uh, but now I've got a small telescope to play with as well, just in case uh, the night's clear enough to do any of that. But what I'm hearing on the ground is that none of us really have good seeing, particularly LA, but uh, the world in general. We, it's been a terrible season uh, for being an astronomer. It's just hard to get any clear sky whatsoever. Try running an astronomy YouTube channel and not being able to see the sky. Anyway, that's about it. I uh, hope uh, everything's okay with you guys. Um, you've been watching Star Stuff. My name is Dylan O'Donnell, and remember, everything is meaningless. And we're all going to die.